Okay, hi guys. Um, my name is Alon, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the hair journey that I'm starting. This week is the first week of my hair journey, and I just kind of want to start off by telling you guys a little bit about my story and kind of the things that I'm starting to do as beginners and kind of the products I'm using. <clears throat> so, when I was younger, I had extremely long hair. Like, my hair almost came down to my waist. And when everybody was cutting it around the 7th, 6th, 7th grade, I cut my hair too. I cut it very short and like up to here-ish and I just continued to cut it and cut it and cut it. And my hair really started to just kind of go to a really unhealthy kind of path. I started using a lot of heat products, a lot of flat irons, a lot of blow drying. I was going to the salon maybe every two weeks and just getting tons and tons of heat powered onto it. And plus the salon that I was going to was not using very good hair products. And my hair just kind of broke off and it didn't do too right. Okay, so what I decided is that I did a lot of research and I've come to the conclusion that I want to do a hair journey. And this is kind of where I'm starting off at. And these are the things I'm stopping to doing. Okay, let me start with that. Here's what I'm stopping doing. The first thing I'm going to stop doing is using a lot of heat. I've actually cut out heat a lot, actually. I've been stopped going to the hair salon, and I've been doing a lot of my hair at my house, so there's a lot of, like, less heat. I think in the last week, I only used a flat iron once, and it was this weekend, because my hair kind of just, like, it fell out from the twist out, so it didn't really kind of looked too right, it was getting a little frizzy, so I kind of just braided the sides up and did a little poof and put it into one of those little round buns with my fingers and stuff, so that's that, and I stopped using heat completely, like I said, and I've been using a lot of twist outs, and I'll make you a video of my favorite twist out later on tonight after I get out the shower from washing my hair, and that's one thing I've stopped. Second thing I've stopped doing is using a lot of commercial, how you would say, hair products. I've kind of really made it down to things that are very healthy for my hair and do a lot more to my hair rather than the things that are kind of just on the shelf as shampoos. And I done a lot of research on my shampoos and conditioners and picked out a special couple of few and I'm starting off with that. Um, another thing that I stopped doing to my hair is I really kind of stopped, I started using, well I have very short hair, so I kind of, you know, I don't really do a lot of protective hair stylings, but this is just my suggestion. If you have a longer hair, like if, you know, it reaches down a little bit more, during the winter months you should really use a lot of protective hair styling. So let's say my hair was that long, I've been using a lot of protective hairstyles instead of, you know, kind of wearing it out and stuff like that. Okay, so these are the things I started doing. The first thing I started doing, as I mentioned before, is using healthier shampoos and doing a lot of braids outs and twist outs and stuff like that instead of using heat and curling irons. That's the first thing I started doing. The second thing I started doing is I did a lot of moisture in my hair. I've been putting tons and tons and tons of moisture in my hair every day and you know it's really starting to help I can feel the texture difference in my hair just from a week of putting a lot of moisture in my hair and the third thing that I started doing is I bought a whole bunch of new products I went to a hair expo and got a whole bunch of samples and stuff like that to try out and stuff like that okay so that's my starting point as a beginner that's what I'm doing and not doing alright moving on to the products I've been using lately so this will probably change, but the shampoo that I'm using currently is just a regular old Pantene Natural and Relaxed Dry to Moisturize Shampoo. It's oil enriched moisturizer that nourishes and protects hair structure. I mean, it's kind of like a regular old shampoo. It doesn't really do too much amazing things. It's just shampoo. So that will probably change. But I got it because it said Dry to Moisturized. I'll, we'll see how that does. It doesn't, hasn't really done too much lately. Okay, this I love. Excuse the way the bottle looks. It's gotten moist and been all... Okay, whatever. It's been all over the place. So this is... I cannot pronounce that, but it, I think it says Aloexy Polymedic. Okay? It's an emergency reconstruction. Repairs and strengthens hopelessly damaged hair. Creates an internal framework within the hair shaft to restore integrity. This stuff works. Okay? People say... I don't use it too much to, to vouch 
for hair growth and stuff like that. But when my hair, when I really started to have my mother kind of, you know, help me, because, you know, minor, <laughs> 16, my mom really started to help me um, kind of get onto the right path hair-wise. She suggested this for me. I use it maybe once every three to four months when my hair gets really bad. And I like it, so that's that. Okay. Um, now, personal things that I started using is Mrs. Jessie's, and I will put that below. I've been using a lot of Miss Jessie's products. Okay, the first one that I use is when I'm doing twist outs and stuff like that. It's called Curly Meringue. Okay, um, it says that it's for natural curls, kinks and waves, pony puffs, I don't know what that says, twist out and braid outs, transform armors, and slickeners. I love this stuff. It's really meant for natural hair, but I just use it, I use it anyways. When I come out the shower, it's kind of heavy though, so I just put a little bit and just kind of twist it up and stuff like that. So I love this stuff. I, I have like four more sample packets to go and then I'm going to start ordering it off a line. I love this stuff. I will once again, I'll put it below. Oh, and Miss Jessie has tons of lines of different ones like these. Like she has Cream de la Curl. I like that one too. It does the same job, just a different scent, kind of a little bit lighter. So I like that one too. And I've been using this as a pre-poo. It's called Miss Jessie's Super Sweet Back Treatment. I'm out of this, so I'm going to order this offline um, soon. But this is meant for hair growth, and I use it as a pre -pew. So when I get in the shower, what I do is I, I rinse my hair very lightly, and I mix this with sometimes honey or kind of like an oil, and I just put it through my hair as I, you know, wash the rest of my body, you know, whatever else. And then I rinse it out, and then I shampoo and condition my hair. And so far, it's been doing me pretty good. I mean, it's growth-wise, I ha maybe like an inch, maybe. And I've been using this one for like a month now. So this is so this is good stuff. This one works. This is good. Okay. And this I just bought today, so um, I can't really say to like a whole bunch on it because I just bought it today. But um. I can say a couple, sorry, just getting the little price tag off of it, sorry. <laughs> okay, so, it's called Mane and Tail um, Moisturizing and Text Relaxing Conditioner. The first thing that I noticed about this is the size, and I love the size because I can use however much I want in the shower, and it's, it's pretty big, so I won't run out of it too quickly. And the second thing that I noticed about it that I love is the smell. Oh my god, it smells, sorry, I got a little, a little too close. Anyways. The smell is delicious. It's not very, like, fragrancy. It's not very floral. It just smells, like, clean. Like, you know, like, after you take a shower and, you like, you use soap and you smell, like, your arms. Like, regular soap and you just smell your arm. And it just smells fresh and clean. It literally smells like that. And I love it. Okay? It just smells really good. So, that's where I am as a beginner. This is my very first video on a, a hair journey. Once again, my name is Alon. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'm really going to make sure that I keep up with my videos and stuff like that. Because what I notice is that when I look at other people's videos, like when I follow other people, and I'll list some of the people that I follow below, um, we don't really have the same type of hair. Because it's either people who are, people who do, you know, hair drainings, they either have natural hair, whether it's naturally straight, curly, you know, whatever. And then there's those people who have relaxed, text laxed hair that are trying to do their hair journey on that. And literally, I fall smack dad in the middle. And there's really not anyone that i found so far that's kind of followed the same type of um, hair that I have. So I'm just trying to, you know, help you guys out. And you guys can learn with me as I learn. Because, like I said, I'm not a professional. This is my very first video. And, yeah, I just want to learn and I want my hair back. And I'm going to make a video... Um, which is kind of going to be part two of this, and it's going to be a review on the mane and tail, and I'll show you guys how I do my twist out, and I'll show you how long my hair is, but right now it brushes just about my collarbone, but I'm not going to keep you guys any longer, but um, yeah, so look forward to my next video. Okay, thank you.